Hello, Pace Setter friends. Missing you guys like crazy. Hope you're staying healthy and safe at home um, during this stay at home order. And hoping I get to see you all very, very soon. Um, been busy, kind of been lazy, but we're back to school this week. So wanted to spend some time reviewing some of the concepts that we talked about last time we were together since it's been a couple weeks. Um, day one, we did squares and rectangles, the area, and then we talked about area of um, parallelograms on day two. So day three, we're going to talk a little bit about triangles, most specifically uh, right triangles. Right triangles are those triangles that have one angle that is 90 degrees or a right angle. So that's what make right, makes right triangles special. So, oh, here goes my dog barking. Sorry about that. So just as a review, we talked a little bit about, well, I hope that's not that that's for you. We talked a little bit about um, on day one about area of a rectangle where the base and the height, when you know those two things, you can just do area equals base times height. And so for, as an example, here's a rectangle with a base of five and a height of two. Notice the, um, marking here that shows that it is a 90 degree corner or right angle. Area equals base times height. Area in this case for this rectangle would be five times two. So the area of this rectangle would be 10 units squared. So let's take a look at a right triangle. Just draw one really quick here. Okay, so here's your right triangle, and we know that this is a right triangle because this um, little square thing here tells us this angle is 90 degrees. <clears throat> so the base can be any of the sides of the triangle. So it could be this one, this one, or this one. We know that from what we learned before. But the height has to be a side that is perpendicular or at a right angle to the base. So we can say that this is the base, and if that's the base, then we know that the height has to be this here because it is the side that's 90 degrees to the base, okay? Another thing you could do was if you didn't wanna make that the base, we can get rid of those, we can make this side our base, remember? Because any side can be the base. And if we decide that that's gonna be our base, we have to find something that's perpendicular or at a right angle to this side. And that in this case would be this one, this would be our height. We could even turn it if that makes you feel better if you like to have the base at the bottom, but it doesn't have to be at the bottom. So <clears throat> just to remind ourselves, we know that a right triangle is half, not a very good drawing, but you know me with art, um, we know that the tri uh, right triangle is half of a square or half of a rectangle, exactly half. So if I had a paper and I traced this and I um, rearranged it over here, like we did a lot <clears throat> in our geometry lessons when we were together, we would know that this, is, this triangle is exactly the same as this triangle. So the area of a triangle is going to be the same as the area of a rectangle or square, except it's only going to be half. So the area of a rectangle or square is going to be area equals base times height, but we're only talking about half of the area with the triangle. So we would also want to multiply that by one half, or the way I like to do it, because I think it's easier, is area equals base times height divide those by two, okay? So that's just a little review for you <clears throat> before you do your homework on digits. Hopefully it should be pretty easy for you. Let's do an actual example, just so you can see. So if this is my right triangle, and actually I'm gonna draw it a little different. What if I had this? as my right triangle. So my right angle is up here. It's still a right triangle. You can spin it and see it looks just like the other one that I drew. Probably not really a right triangle because I'm eyeballing it. But if the right triangle angle, the right angle is at the top, it's still a right triangle, 
and we can still figure out the base and height. So if we name any one of these sides the base, we can name this the base, but then we'd have to figure out what the height from here to here was. And since we don't know that, boom. there we go. Now we have actual measurements. <clears throat> since we don't know how tall or how far it is from here to here, if we drew a height this way, we don't know what this measurement is. We're going to pick a different side as our base. So if we picked this side as our base, we would want to pick a side that was perpendicular as our height. So that would be this one. So if it helps you to look at it this way, if this is our base, this is going to be our height because it's at a right angle perpendicular. Okay. And remember when we're measuring height, we want to measure straight up and down. Like when you go to the doctor's office and they measure your height, they tell you, stand up straight, right? They don't want you all slumped over or leaned over. They want you standing up straight. So you're measuring from the top to the bottom. So if our base is four, we know area equals base times height divided by two. If our area for this triangle, if the base is four and the height is six, and then we divide those by two, we just have to do the math. Four, in this case, four times six is 24. We still have to divide by two, which gives us 12. And then we don't know the units. So we're just gonna say 12 units squared. I hope that's right way on your video. Um, you may use a calculator on these problems. I hope you have some sort of calculator. If you don't, there is a calculator on your Chromebook that you can use. Um, you just have to find it, but they, um, you are allowed to use calculator on the area problems. And um, some of these in digits are going to have some fractions and decimals. So you have to remember how to multiply fractions and that sort of thing. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, I miss you. I love you. I hope you're staying safe. See you again soon.